What's up guys? Thanks for stopping by. Today we're just gonna wash some cows and we'll clean out the duck pool. And then maybe we'll wash the goat, but hang out with us for a while and just relax. Well, I can't say I'm washing them. The kids are washing them. So as you guys know, these are Eliza's 4-H dairy feeders. Oh, we got the boys. But like I was saying, oh, let's get over here. These are Eliza's 4-H dairy feeders. We got, what's that one's name, Eliza? Pete. Pete, and then the red one? Sunny. It's Sunny, yep. Pete and Sunny. And then our fair is August. 4th through the 12th, I believe. So, yes. coming up soon, coming up soon, they'll be in there and she'll get to show them and hopefully run them both through the sale ring and get her a little bit of money. Moolah. Moolah, she says. Who you got helping you today, Eliza? Halen, my best friend. Her best friend, Halen. You take anything to the fair, Halen? I do. What do you take? Hogs and market rabbits. Hogs and market rabbits. So what's your hog supposed to weigh at the fair? Usually, it has to be like, I wanna say like 260 and above. 260 and above. That's what I want to say. Last year, my pig weighed 268 on the dot. Whew. She was cutting it close. But. Yeah, I mean, those aren't small hogs by any means, are they? No, they're pretty big. Yeah. They get mean or anything? Uh, it just depends on if you work with them. Right. Just like anything else. If you work it, it's fine. If not, it turns into a, a circus. Yep. All right. I'll leave you guys be. Let you do some washing here. Just for a minute. Yeah. Uh, you might want to rinse it out. Yeah, I probably need some new soap too. I just picked up on it. I don't know if it's after rinsing. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be nice and clean. Mm-hmm. You're gonna be able to go lay down after we walk in. All right, I'm sure you guys have seen enough cow butt for a minute. So let's see if we can't go find Jaden real quick. See what he's doing. I know he's got his goat out here somewhere. Uh, it's almost time to put our buck out with our does, which you guys will be coming with us on that adventure as well. Probably send him, put the buck with the does the first week of August. And then leave him in there probably till the end of August, beginning of September. 
talking to YouTube. You want to say hi? Yeah. Hi, YouTube. Yeah. Tell him, say, go look at our TikTok. I swim now. Yeah, go look at our TikTok. I swim now. Yeah. She graduated. She, uh, with a life jacket on, of course. She's been swimming at the lake. I take the boat out, and she gets in the water, and we swim around. And I finally got her to swim a little bit and now she's like a tadpole never wants to quit come here a second jay all right so you guys know this is my son Jaden, and he has his goat what's your goat's name again gizmo gizmo and he is, what is he? A weather. He's a weather. What breed is he? Do you know? Boar. Yeah, he's a boar weather. That's what we take to our fair, our weathers, of course. And, you know, we use boar as our market animal. Um, Gizmo weighs yeah, 80 pounds now, I think. Yeah, like I said, we still have a couple weeks. So hopefully we get him up around that 95 pound mark. He's looking pretty good, though. He's, he's getting getting some good stature to him and he stands right he's still still green on the the collar though but he's getting better but so what are you looking forward to at the fair Jaden? uh winning grand champion oh he's going for grand champion huh mm -hmm. well, hopefully huh yeah make some memories yeah make some good memories with friends and get to experience the the show life of the fair and whatnot and you know, we use the fair as a learning experience for all of our kids to teach them agriculture roles. Um, you know, teach them how to raise livestock, how to finish livestock out, you know, the process of livestock, you know, because with livestock comes death. And they know that they're taking these animals out to slaughter. You know, they take them, they sell them at the fair, and they go to slaughterhouses and most of them around here turn right back around into our local grocery stores. So that's Jaden and his goat. So yep. let's take a walk and we'll head over here. Like I said, we're getting ready to head to the lake. So we'll go over here and we'll let the ducks out. And get them, uh, get their water drained. So that way we can have the girls clean it up here in a little bit. First, let's walk to the fence. Let's see the girls, the big girls. Like, and you know, these are all, these three out here are, they're still does, they're ne they've never been bred. This one here is June. She actually went to the fair last year. kids call her Ariel. And then over there, or no, that's Rhea. This is Ariel. This is June. And then down here, I don't know if you can go ahead and catch with the tripod. That is Miss Mavis. Come on, Miss Mavis. She's old. She had a set of twins this year. And she just hasn't recovered. She's old. She's having a hard time coming back. So we're not going to breed her again. But she's here for the long haul. She, uh, she's been wormed and treated for all kinds of stuff. Because, like I said, after she had the kids, she just didn't come back. Like, she, she's not putting weight on real quick. She's struggling. So, like I said, we'll keep her around. And then she'll live out her days right here at the farm. She won't go anywhere. She won't be bred anymore. Unless it happens by accident, and then I can't control that. But hopefully I can, and it doesn't happen. So let's go over here and we'll check on the chickens real quick because, you know, Kyler and his little chickies. They, uh, they're still in their new house. I just added to it a little bit, give them a little more room. Let's see.
So there are the barred rocks. And then back in the back, you can barely see her back there. But that's that barnyard mixture hen that we have. So, yeah, so that's the update on the chickens. They're doing well, they're getting big. But, all right, we'll make our way over here to the ducks here in a second. How's it going, ladies? Good. good. Looking good, looking good, boys. He just keeps moving his leg every single time that I try to yeah, we get, in, one spot. get in the bath. Yeah, we still have to get the front in your way. Pete, and you got Sunny. Look how dirty your head is, too, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we get You're their head Dirty boy, huh? Yeah. Hard to tell. We just gave him a bath, like... Day after, day before yesterday. I know, day before yesterday, and they're already muddy, huh? Because of rain. Yeah, their pen, it holds water, but then again, if you guys have ever had cattle or anything, you know they make divots when they walk. There's the ducks. Hi, ducks. Duck, 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 duck. The pool they're in, it's actually a dog pool. And uh, they love it. Had to put a brick in it so they can get out, but I could fill that thing up with clean water and it's dirty by the end of the day. Cause we filled that up day for yesterday. And then today we'll change it again and we'll change it again Sunday. So but yeah, they keep it muddy, that's for sure. And I mean, they're in grass. It's not like they're dragging a bunch of mud in it, but still boy, they get it muddy. You can see we have this one right. Oh, he's walking behind him now, but that one right there is a drake. You can tell by on his tail. See the one feather that turns up. That's a male, and he has you know he has different wing feathers than the. Than the, than the hens or whatever a female duck is, but I know he's a drake. And by the way they walk too, see how he walks more up and they're more down. But And then I know we have two male Indian runner ducks, penciled Indian runner ducks, and four female penciled Indian runner ducks. So we've got three drakes, so hopefully soon we'll start having some duck eggs and We'll get them in the incubator because we had chicken eggs given to us this year. As if you've seen the other video, you know, well, it was a short I think I put up, but they, they, most of them weren't fertile, and the one that was fertile ended up dying a few days into it, so they didn't make it. But God knows how old they were, so. But that's our update for today, guys. You know, as always, thanks for stopping by. You know, check in with us. We'll be going to the fair soon and getting the animals more ready. We'll start clipping cows and everything else. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Glad you stopped by. Make sure you go down and like, subscribe, and follow us. You know, we're almost to 100 followers here, or subscribers on YouTube here. So, let's, let's get there. You know, I want to get up there and get some numbers. But I'm glad the ones that are here are here. And we'll see you on the next video, guys. See ya.